Yes, and now it's time for the Hungarian Grand Prix in the GP2 Championship. Qualified, okay. Starting on second place. Let's see how this race unfolds. Of course, this is only the highlights, as the full race would be massive, and it would take about seven years for me to upload. Here we go. Starts quite tense, looking to get a win here. Had a horrible race at Silverstone feature race. And here we go, lights are out. Zampli on the left, Jacko gets a better start on the inside. A little bit tidy off the line, trying to squeeze through. Jacko's coming in on the outside there, squeezing his nose in. See if I can try and get through here. Has a go down the inside, takes the lead as it looks. Car's going everywhere, get a fairly decent drive out. Not too bad here as we come into the next corner and all of a sudden... Oh no, look at that, we've been hit by Jacko. Jacko has hit me round. I am in last place currently at, the, at this moment. I get around the inside of Jacko, but that is horrible. It's a horrific start there. Jacko, what were you thinking? Sticking your nose in like that. Any case, we end up coming to the left hander here. It's quite fast. Oh, a bit of a slide there. Looking quite tricky. We've got Kid Bias up ahead. We'll see, here we go. We're coming into the next chicane section. It's quite diabolical here. You can get it wrong and end up in the wall. It comes through the left-hand sweepers. Closing in on the pack, the pack ahead are quite quite close together. Have a still coming to the right-hand sweeper. I'm not doing too badly here. And I look, someone's off the track, and I think it's Zampli. Yes, yes it is. It's the Ferrari of Zampli. He's off. Moves me up to fifth place as we round off towards the end of the first lap. Oh no, there's cars everywhere. Danny gets taken. No, oh, Kid Buys up the inside nearly hits me. Having a look at Murph, we both go wide. Kid Buys is having a look down the inside. Can't get it done on the drive. Too much steering angle, I think. Use up the curves. Here we go. We've moved ahead here to the second lap. Murph's run wide. Dives down the inside to take second place here. Away from him. Now, here we go. I've just set, I've just set the fastest lap. And oh no! <laughs> Nearly lost it. Nearly lost it in the wall. Here we go. We go back to the. Uh, this is the pit stop. Changing over the primes. It's just the exit here. Go a little wide there. I'm in third place at the moment. It's the person in first still ready to pit. Here we go. We're back up to second now. Having a look at cards. Here. There's about a few laps left. This is some interesting stuff. Get down the inside. Can't can't quite get around the outside of Cartoon because he gets better drive. And we'll just tuck in underneath him here for the next left hander. And here we go. There's, this, there's two laps left. Let's see if I can try and get past him here. Get a good run. Can't quite get down the inside. Can't even get close to him to even make a move. He's driving so well as Cartoon. Here we go, go into the left hander. Second turn of the track. It's been quite an interesting race so far. Let's see if we can try and get ourselves into a decent position in first place. Oh no, we've <laughs> nearly lost it in the wall. Sliding around all over the place like there's some banana peels underneath my Pirelli's. I'm not doing too badly here though as we go through these sweepers again after she came. Cartu gets a little wide. He gets a little feisty. We come to the right hand sweeper here and I think cartoon has gone off wide but he isn't slowed down by the Codemasters braking system. She comes to the right hander. Bit of curb. The ex apex and the exit. But otherwise not too bad. Going quite hell here. We've got about We've got one lap left. I'm too far away at the moment to have a go at him. But I'll, I'll open the DRS. I'll blast a bit of the curves and try and get by him. Try and catch him as much as possible here. I outbreak him a bit. He locks up. I go wide. I go in. Try to get better drive. Can't quite get the power down. Sliding all over the place. Nearly put it in the wall again. Car's extremely unstable. The track's very slippery. And there's only one lap left, and it's getting tense now. Here we go. I've used up all my curves at this point. I don't know why. It's probably a stupid move, but here we go. Anyway, I'm right back on the back of him. 
Come through the sweeper. This is it. This is where we come through the chicane. Come through the chicane. Oh no, look, I've gone wide. I'm trying to avoid cart, dude. I've had to cut it off and I've had to let him go a little bit there. It's not as quite as well as I'd hoped it, hoped it all to go. But I'll get a better run out through here. And hopefully I get a better run through this next sweeper. And I do. Here we go. There's only five tenths in it as we round the last three corners. Two more corners to go. Coming right on the back of him now. He's gone wide. I've taken a tighter line. Got a better exit out of there. I'm right underneath him now. Let's see what I can do. Coming around the last corner. I've got no curse, but I'll get DRS and I'll open it up and I'll have a look down the inside, but it's just quite not enough. And that gap is 0 0.067 seconds. That is a crazy, crazy close margin. Nevertheless, great driving to count to there. Couldn't quite finish it up in second, but not a bad drive for me considering I was in last place after the second corner. Right now it's time for the sprint race. I'm in dead last place here. P7. I've got Danny to the right. Murph to the front. And everyone else directly in front of him. And we get a nice run off the line here. Me and Danny sort of lag back a bit, but Danny sort of has a bad secondary to a start. They all get tied into the first corner. I choose the outside. Kid Bice has been taken out by... I think that's Cart Dude. Cart Dude's knocked around Kid Bice. And I'm sitting in fifth place now with Danny Rocks behind me and Kid Bice obviously behind as well. Cart Dude goes a bit wide, but I can't quite get the power down as the car tends to slide through the apex of that corner on cold tires. Here we go. We're in the chicane. Murph's gone wide. Oh no! <laughs> Nearly crashed straight at the back of him. Had to back off there. Move's proven to come a bit of a, bit of a mobile chicane. I'm definitely quicker than him here. Let's see, we go through the sweep, and Murph's all over the shop, trying desperately to keep me behind him. I've got enough pace though. I'll break a little earlier to get try and get a better run through this corner. He pulls away slightly, giving myself a bit of room. Murph goes wide here. I haven't looked any inside. Can't quite get the power down on the narrow turn. Murph on the inside, I'm on the outside here, trying to get a crossover on him. Use a bit of the curves. No DRS at this point, so it's going to be close. Oh, it looks like Danny Rocks has destroyed a vehicle. In any case, without the DRS, I look like... Oh, yep, I've made a move, gone straight down the inside. Fourth place here. Not too bad from last. And we come to the chicane. This is a very good lap for me here. So far, let's see if I can finish it off and even catch up to Cart Dude a little bit more. Comes through those sweepers. Get through the right hander. Very smooth, very fast. Only five tenths down now. I'm one and a half seconds faster than my previous lap, and I'm already right on the back of Cart Dude here. I'm having a look. And I go down the ins. Oh, what a pass! Straight down the inside. Takes the tight line, gets a great exit out. And that's third place. And Zamfli and Jacko have come together. <laughs> Two laps to go. I'm on the grass trying to avoid the incident. I've taken the lead and This is the final turn of the final lap and It looks like it is a Sauber 1-2 with Murph in second place and it is What a fantastic race that was what a fantastic round at the Hungarian Grand Prix GP2 Some definitely good points for me for a second and a first as I uh Stand on my card and celebrate. It's been a good one. Thanks for watching.